y'all. It's me, April, May, June. I'm here. You know, I'm using this different kind of camera. Okay, now I want to tell y'all right now that this song, this this story is going to be a little long because I got so much to tell you. You know, I ain't seen you in about two weeks, but that ain't my fault. You got to keep in touch. But anyway, let me tell y'all. You know what? I was minding my business outside in the back, helping yogurt feed the chickens because he does all that plucking all day long. And oh Lord, I had to help him out. Y'all, I don't look colorful enough. That's much better. Now you can see me. Hi. <laughs> anyway, I've been having my prayer beads while I was feeding the chickens and I was topping the yogurt and filling them all. Well, you know, this man, this high fluted man comes by in this great big old limousine. It was. It's a limousine. Came by and it was long and black, about 100 feet long. Anyway, he looked over at me and he said, Ooh, who's that pretty girl with the red hair? And I was like, well, who the hell is he talking about? Oh, Lord. And Thelma Mom said, you dumb nut. He's talking about you. And I said, oh, my God. I said, what you want, mister? You want some collard greens or fried chicken? Because we got some fried chicken tamales we can give you. No, he wasn't interested in that. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. He was interested in me. Me, y'all. Of course he would be. Why wouldn't he be? Oh my gosh, all this beauty and glamour talent. Oh Lord, I got so much of it to spread around. Anyway, you know, I had a Myrtle here with me. You know, I was out there pillow feeding them chickens and Myrtle was singing, oh, she sings so good. She sing better than me. You hear Myrtle sing that again. Anyway, Myrtle, go over here and sit down. Anyway, he walks over to me and says, How'd you like to be a Hollywood movie star? And I said, <laughs> What kind of crack are you taking these days, boy? What kind of crack are you snoring? You want me to be a Hollywood star? But then I thought about it. I was like, you know what, April, my dream? You hope to be a Hollywood star. After a Hollywood movie star. After all, I was a big star on Broadway many years ago. Of course, that's another story. That was before the Betty Ford Clinic. Now, see, y'all done golf made me think about that. Oh, God, oh, Lord, with my prayer beads. Oh, Lord. Anyway. So the man says, you want to be a Hollywood movie star? And I said, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what I got to do. And he said, well, what's your name, hon? And I said, my name is April May Jean Watkins. And I'm from Thinner, Texas. And he said, well, you come on to Hollywood. Now, he, he handed me this script right here. And he told me to, to don't look it over. Now, I ain't looked it over yet because I want to share this with y'all. Because I want y'all to, to, to jo join in with me in this discovery. But the name of this movie, and oh my gosh, I'm going to be star of it. It's called Leap Frog Lola. Ain't that something? It must be a children's movie for little children, you know. Leap Frog Lola, do not that sound like fun? Oh my gosh. Anyway. I'll tell y'all the rest of the story later because it's real exciting. It is.